everybody. Welcome back. Today we're going to be working in our fiber art center. Fiber arts is anything to do with um, fabric, yarn, and then today we're going to be doing a circle weaving. So this is something that goes around in a circle. You have these yarns that go like a bike spoke, and then you also have yarn that goes over and under them. And then if you wanted, well, this is a plate, we do it on a plate. Um, you could hang this up if you wanted, um, but it is also just very fun and meditative. I love all kinds of um, fiber arts projects because I just find them so soothing. You can just sit there, maybe put on a TV show. You can do a circle weaving. I also love knitting. Uh, I'm currently making a sweater. So I just, I just love the the um, repetitive motion and weaving definitely has that and I would like to show you how to do this. You're going to need um, a plate, some kind of plate. It could have decoration on it. It might say happy birthday, totally fine. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through these parts. You're going to need, so a plate, you're gonna need something to draw with. And to start out, you are going to need scissors. So these are your first materials. I'll show you how to make your um, template that you will be doing your circle weaving on. And then you're also going to need out of your maybe your art room box um, some masking tape and um, different kind of yarns. If you don't have any yarn, you if you have an old shirt, um, this could be used if you cut it. We can make um, a type of fabric with it that I cut one here so I will show you how to do that if you have something old that you're not wearing anymore don't cut up that nice shirt um, or pants that probably wouldn't be appreciated in your household um, all right so let's get started okay so does everyone have their plate and something to draw on the plate the first step we're gonna do is we're going to mark an odd number of marks on the plate that are spaced out evenly. And that is going to become where our spokes of our bike are. And you need to make sure you have an odd number of spokes in order for your weaving to turn out. So an odd number is one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. Then other numbers are called even numbers and they are two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So I figured out that 11 works really well on my plate. So I'm going to make space out. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. They don't have to be perfectly spaced. I'm then gonna put my number, I'm gonna number them. And then after I number them, I'm going to cut each of these spokes. Here's one I already have done. And I put, so I have my marks, I cut each one so that I will be able to put my bike spokes and then I numbered them just so you can see how to do this. You don't have to do the numbers, but it might help you at the beginning until you get used to it. The next step is you are going to need a, like a seven foot piece of yarn that is going to go for your bike spokes. So you can definitely have help for this if you need help. If you need a quick measurement, I know that a ruler is 12 inches and a ruler is about this big. I will say it's about this big. I hold it out like this, it's like, that's like 12 inches. That's one foot, one foot is 12 inches. So I'm gonna do this seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So I have about seven feet. I do have some extra, but it will be fine. We are going to attach the yarn onto the back of the plate. So I'm gonna put my yarn, turn my plate over, place my yarn on the back, and then get my masking tape. Tear off a piece, and I'm just going to attach it onto the back. Okay, the yarn then is going to feed into my first notch. So the one that says number one, I'm gonna put it in there. So my yarn's coming out of number one. Um, I usually do this at school for you guys, but it's so great that you guys can learn on your own how to do this. So then the yarn's coming out, it's gonna go into the opposite side. So the opposite side could either be the six or the seven, and the seven. Okay, so it's the opposite side. So then it's gonna wrap around the back and it's gonna come up again. So it wraps in the, wraps in the back. And it's gonna come up again on the number two. And you're gonna cross over and go to the left. So now I'm at number eight. Then I'm gonna go along the back. It's gonna come up at number three. And then it's gonna cross in the middle and go over to number nine. You can pause it if you need to, if you wanna catch up. So I'm at number nine. I'm gonna go under the plate, come up through number four. I'm gonna cross into the middle and go to number 10. I'm gonna go over to number five, cross in the middle. The opposite end is number 11. And I'm across one more time in the back and it, there's one more notch left, number six for me. It's gonna come up through number six and there's nowhere for it to go. This, your bike spokes are almost done. It's just gonna go into the middle here and see all your spikes. So I'm just gonna wrap this one more time to secure it underneath all the yarns. And if it's not centered, it's totally fine. This is mostly just about the process, not about it looking perfect. All right, so I have done all of my bike spokes and I have one extra yarn coming off here. This is where we're going to attach another piece of yarn. So this is definitely one of those projects that I would have done all of this at school for you guys, and then I would have shown you how to do the weaving. So this part is a little bit confusing. You might, you might need some help, but I didn't want to not show you because it's such a cool project. And if you can figure out how to do this, you can make so many of them. Um, so I hope you don't get frustrated. Ask for help if you need help, um, and give this a try. It, the um, pattern is over, under, over, under, over, under. So if you wanted to go ahead and start with this yarn that's coming um, off of it that we made the spokes with, you can. Um, I like to start with a spoke, a bike spoke that is near where the yarn is. And I'm gonna keep on repeating over, under, over, under, over, under. So I'm gonna go over this first one, I'm gonna go over that piece of yarn, and then I'm gonna go under the next one. Then you can pull it. I'm gonna go over this yarn and then under the one next to it. And go over this one and then go under that one. All right, I'm gonna change my color so that you guys can see. Um, so I'm gonna cut this a little bit here and I'm gonna show you how to attach another piece of yarn. Okay, so here's your plate, and we have our yarn that we're gonna attach a new color to, and then I picked out this bright yellow because I thought that would be a good color for everyone to be able to see, and also I like it because it's kind of thicker, and the thicker your yarn is, the, um, the faster your piece will develop, which is cool and it's nice to have different textures in there. So I'm gonna go ahead, you're gonna just cut out maybe like an arm's length of yarn. 
and you're going to attach the end to the, of this yarn to the end of this yarn and you're going to want to make a knot. Um, one way if you would like, you want to think left over right and then left over right. So I'm going to put my left one over my right one, or actually it looks different to you, and then I'm going to put it down. So it's going to tie it like that and then I'm going to go my left one, which is your right one, <laughs> and um, I'm going to put it over there and into the hole. So this is, it's called a granny knot. Um, it's however you guys can tie knots. That will be um, however you can attach the two pieces together is great. Um, okay, so I have my yellow yarn on. I'm going to continue doing over, under, over, under, over, and under. All right, so I'm going to go over, under, over, under. So I'm going to go over this one under that one over under over under woven as much as I want to with the yellow and I left some extra here so that I can uh, tie my next color on or you could continue with this color this would be very pretty just one color for sure um, but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna show you um, how to do this um, strand of t-shirt if you would like um, so I have my old t-shirt here has never been worn no one wanted this shirt so I'm going to give it a new life. So just from the bottom, I am going to cut up maybe like an inch, a half inch. I'm just gonna cut all the way across this shirt. Alright, so I cut my um, shirt off the bottom. I'm just going to snip um, down one of the sides so I have a straight piece. And then I'm going to attach. Okay, so that is circle weaving. You can continue going around and around, over, under, over, under, over, under. Change colors as many times as you want. And when you're all done, all you do is this extra piece hanging off, you just tuck it, tuck it behind your work and your circle weaving is complete.